my name is Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. Well, this is the second video in my built-in cabinet bookshelf series that I'm doing in collaboration with Rockler. In this video, I'm going to build the cabinet base, the main frames and the upper shelving unit. So let's get going. Throughout this video, I will be including some of the products that were helpful to complete this project that I received from Rockler. First, I need some precise measurements. Of course, nothing ever quite lines up. The distance between the two windows here was 55 and 5 eighths, and the distance up here was 55 and 3 quarter inches. So I'm just going to go with the smallest distance. Then I got out my book and started doing some sketching. Graph paper really makes it easy to draw things to scale. This is my preferred way of creating a design and getting my cut list ready. So planning out the general design, accounting for 3 quarter inch width of the plywood, changing my mind on some measurements and calculating what cuts I need. So let's start with the upper shelving. First of all I need to cut up the plywood and I'm starting with using the circular saw to get it in more manageable pieces. To make the cut I simply have another piece of wood underneath and the depth of the blade is set quite shallow. That way you have support on both sides. Next, I'm ripping the wood down to 8 inches, which will be the depth of the upper shelves. For the actual shelves, I need 15 pieces, cut at 17 and 3 eighths inches, which I cut on the miter saw. I'm going to build two sections, and simply connect the two with shelving in between. This is to make it a lot easier to deal with. For most of the shelves, I'm going to use pocket hole joinery, so I'm getting those ready. Each section will have one longer and one shorter board and I'm marking out every 12 inches where there will be a shelf. To connect everything together I'm using some corner clamps to give me an extra hand. This makes it really easy to keep everything square and in the right position. For the end pieces, I'm simply gluing and screwing the pieces together. And then clamping in place while screwing in. And then I'm just repeating at the bottom. Now it's time for the middle pieces and this time I'm taking off the holders of the clamps and just using the corners which I'm clamping down to make sure everything is straight. And these shelves I'm attaching with pocket hole joinery. Going down the line. And there we have two identical sections upside down, one for each side. And just making sure the measurements are right and everything looks good. And then the shelves will attach the two together, creating one section. I also need to attach some nailing strips so I can connect the unit to the wall. I'm installing two on each section, one on top and one in the middle. And there you have one completed. Now to carry that same look across, I'm securing a nailing strip to the individual shelves for the middle section as well, to give the illusion of one seamless upper piece. Now for the base, I'm going to need four sections, connected with four long pieces, two on top and two on the bottom, as well as smaller supports in between each section, to create one base unit. First, I'm marking out all the cuts for each of the sections. So let's say this is the wall, this is the floor, and we have a baseboard. Then picture one of the four sections. I have to cut out space for the baseboard, for a support piece in the back, for another support piece in the front, and for space on the bottom so you can get your feet underneath. Cutting out the sections on the bandsaw. Here are all the pieces for the base frame. So first I'm arranging where the four pieces need to go and spacing them out accurately with the support pieces in between, securing the long support to connect everything. 
then marking out the next long support, pre-drilling, securing that one and so forth. To make sure everything is lining up right, I like to clamp the pieces in place and then secure, because you want the rails to be connected evenly on both the top and the bottom, so everything is straight for the drawers later on. Then turning it over and securing the rails on the other side. Once the along pieces were in, I secured the in-between support with pocket screws. I also left the long support pieces a touch too long, so I'm cutting them off now. Sometimes I find it easier to do some of the final cutting once everything is put together, just so nothing is accidentally a touch too short. And before we go any further, I want to bring everything inside, test it out and see how it fits. So as you can see, I have everything dry fitted in here now. Uh, and that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, I just want to make sure that everything fits so nothing is off. Uh, but it's also just to make sure that I like everything because nothing is glued together. So I can easily change something if I want to alter uh, dimensions or, or change something like that. Uh, so as you can see here, I have basically three sections that go from the ceiling to the floor. Uh, but what's interesting is that it's actually more like this is one section and then this is one section. And then these are just shelves that connect the two together. However, it looks like one seamless unit. And then I have these nailing strips that you, I later on I will connect to the wall completely. Um, but that is just because it's easier to uh, move these separate units around in and, in and out of the shop. And uh, it's a little cumbersome to move one big unit. However, the base is one unit, and then I'm going to add the drawers uh, coming up later. I've also been playing with the maple here, uh, playing with stains and dyes to kind of get a look that I want. And once the counter is in, this whole unit will be raised just a touch because it's going to be resting on top of the counter. And then I'm also going to be adding molding at the top here. But otherwise, I just really love the way it's turning out so far. I'm really looking forward to all the storage space it's going to provide, and I think it just adds so much to the room. I'm looking forward to the upcoming videos relating to this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time here, since I put out project videos every week. Um, also, there will be links in the description to all the products that I've used, so check that out if you are planning on building something similar. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.